Hey guys, how's it going? Happy Saturday. Yeah, I'm saying happy Saturday because I realized as I uploaded my last vlog, sorry, um, <clears throat> that I actually shot a vlog. I think I'm totally caught up for the moment. Let's keep our fingers crossed on that one. <clears throat> um, I, uh, I shot my vlog on Friday and uploaded it on Friday and I went live on Friday. That's a rare occurrence um, for the past couple of months at least. Um, just finished my workout. In fact, I already took my polar off, sorry. Um, but I did combat my favorite one, the one I tend to keep doing. Um, alt, uh, ooh, what's the 60 minute one called? Extreme Cardio Fighter. Um, I will start doing the other workouts here. I really have not done, I previewed them, and I remember when I previewed them, I'm like, oh my God, looks awesome. But it's one of my problems. When I find something I like, I keep sticking with the same thing. Um, kind of like this overnight oats bowl that I'm having right now. I did change my recipe a little bit. So a lot of you guys have asked me to repeat my recipe. And um, last time before, what I was making it with was half a cup, half a cup, half a cup of almond milk, plain Greek yogurt, and oats. Um, when I'm using plain Greek yogurt, I do put Splenda in there, and then I add whatever berries I want, mix it all together, put it in the refrigerator overnight. Then I realized, if I'm only using half a cup of the Greek yogurt, I'm not getting the 23, 24 grams of protein that I want. I use that, um, Fayet, I think it's pronounced like so ridiculous. <laughs> Sounds stupid. Anyway, um, that's the yogurt that I use, and it has 25 grams of protein in it, so, but if I was using half a cup, I'm only getting, um, you know, whatever, half of that, um, almost 12, is that right? Um, and the thing is, is that it's only 130 calories for the whole cup. So, I mean, you're really only saving 60, 70 calories by using half a cup. So the, last night, I put in a whole cup of the Greek yogurt. I still put in a half a cup of um, the almond milk. Half a cup of unsweetened almond milk is 30 calories. Um, so I put that in, mix it up same way. And I think what it did is it just, it allowed me to put more berries in. I still put in a half a cup of oats. Um, Cause for me, I don't wanna, I wouldn't like double up my oats. Too many, um, you know, regular carbs kind of, you know what I'm saying? So this lets me put more berries in. It's still delicious. And I'm pleased because I feel like I'm getting more of the protein. And I'm drinking out of my Universe Knows mug. Today's message. I'm trying not to spill it. As you can see, it's very full. And today's coffee, <sighs> when I was in Atlanta all this week, my friend Laura had a Keurig. Now I've used Keurigs in the past and I've kind of researched them actually for several offices where I worked. And I always loved them, but that's when I drank coffee a little differently. And so when I was down at Laura's, um, you know, I was wondering, will I like this coffee? Will it still be, I don't know. I don't know what I was skeptical about, but I have researched the Keurigs, and when I buy something new, I'm kind of dorky, I always feel like I have to get the latest and the greatest. So I was looking at the latest and greatest Keurig. The latest and greatest Keurig, apparently they made it so it doesn't take these K-cups that are kind of universal, these things. So I went with the model that Laura had, because basically Laura, I was using this coffee maker to make my coffee all week, still putting in my coconut oil, my dash of cinnamon, and then she had half and half, which I have to be honest is why this time I bought half and half. Because I looked at the half and half, you guys know I've usually been using full cream. The difference between half and half and full cream is only 10 calories. So this is 40 calories for two tablespoons. Um, yeah, the other one was 50 calories for two tablespoons. The reason that I was getting the um, half and half was because it had no carbs. This has one carb kind of over it. So I'm using that, which will um, probably, I'll have to compare what the difference in fat is, but whatever. So um, I did get my own Keurig, which I'm sure you can't see, but it's back there. And this is the coffee that Laura was using. And she researched it, and I just fell in love with it. So I'm actually cheating on Starbucks right now and using this with my Keurig. And the reason my cup is so full Is because when you when I brew it in there what I'm doing is kind of brewing two cups and then I have the leftovers in my other cup so two cups would actually overflow this but one cup 
fills it up to about here, and I just don't like doing that. I don't like having like a half cup. Disturbing. Okay, I have about three or four topics I'm going to talk about today um, for your Saturday. The first one, because my phone is right here, and it made me think of this. This is, um, I'm going to turn the music down, because I know you guys, I know someone will say, I can tell. I just can tell when the music is too loud, and then I'll get all these comments going, can you just turn the music down next time? Anyway, number one request for you guys. I'm so really excited about this. It's just kind of in beta phases, and it's not really huge public yet, but I want you to all go and download the Fit for Lunch Lab. It is now available on Apple and Droid, and here's the cool thing. We're just at the very beginning of this, so I mean, we're testing out the kings, yada, 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 but if you download the app, you obviously can, can you know, see what we're pinning, you can go to our Instagram, um, Twitter feed, whatever. But what I like the most so far is that if you click on, I hope I'm pointing to the right thing, YouTube, you're gonna see all of our videos coming up, okay? So this is a lot of videos from our um, ambassadors. There's, there's folks like um, Josh Henkin, hold on who has, you know, the ultimate sandbags, right? And, and they create all these great videos so you can figure out all the different ways that you can use the ultimate sandbag. Um, we've got workouts from, or some of these are like teasers, but there are tons of workouts that you can mix and match. I think we have like 200 up there so far. They've just been uploaded. Um, there's a lot from Steve and Bonnie's Feaster. Here's a hit workout for uh, Road Warriors. So obviously you download this app, you've got it. Cardiovascular workout where you can tone your body and burn fat and still make it back up for your meetings. All right, first exercise. The feasters are amazing. We've got, and again, we're just starting to upload a, a just, I almost wanted to say a swear word, crap ton of content. Great circuits, burpee workouts. Then there's, um, we're going to start having a lot more um, recipes, demonstrations, like I'm seeing a pump pumpkin chocolate smoothie, how to survive the holidays. Um, we've got some of our funny videos up there too. Um, but every day we're adding more and more content from our ambassadors, for some of our partners that have great workouts on there. Here's a core, Lisa Balash has made some kettlebell bombshell. I know this workout is very popular. Um, hold on, I gotta show this to you, sorry. Color blush, sorry. And I'm also the creator of Kettlebell Bombshell Hold on. So she's doing She's using a towel. Of course I would use <coughs> my ball slides. Um, we'll have stuff from Valerie Waters there. We're gonna have stuff from I can't say I'm getting in advance of myself, but you definitely I would certainly I don't ask a lot of you guys, but I'm gonna start now. Anyway, you really should. So um, download the app. I hope you'll give it a rating. Um, let us know what you'd like to see on there. And of course, no, you're not going to see me doing these ramble on us because <laughs> that would make everybody explode their phone. Um, <clears throat> next, I wanted to, a lot of you guys have asked for like an updated look at the DVDs that I'm using. Now, I've done another video that showed the DVDs I love, the DVDs I'm tending not to use, and then just kind of I rated in different groups all of the different home DVD workouts because I've been working out at home to some degree. Sometimes I do home and gym, which I do now, kind of a combination of both, but I really like having DVDs, especially when you travel a lot like me, okay? They're always great. And it's just nice when you have crappy weather sometimes like we do in Chicago to have those options for home. So here's what I've got on the yoga side. I'm going to show you like three groups. I've got yoga, kind of like ballet, physique 57 kind of stuff, the uh, cardio DVDs that I'm kind of loving, and then I'm going to wrap up and show you all of these great books I just bought because I really want to be, I'm going to be starting to study uh, yoga, I told you guys. And I've got just a few minutes left. So the first, the out of years and years and years and years and years of trying to buy yoga DVDs, even before I'd ever really gone to a class and gotten that yoga fever, um, the only DVDs that I had found previously that I really, I liked the vibe, it just felt like a real yoga teacher experience as opposed to like a production, are the Janet Stone videos. Um, I just love it. She's kind of like hippie chick. I, I mean, they're, in, they're pretty intense workouts. Um, I would consider myself not a very beginner yogi, but maybe becoming intermediate. 
if that, I don't want to get ahead of myself. I think her DVDs are great. I got them on Amazon. You can get them on her website as well. I've written them up and done some reviews on my uh, uh, blog, kellyalexa.com. Now, Kat is actually a friend of a friend of mine down in Miami. So Kat Hayen, if you're down in the Miami area, she teaches class. So you want a lot of classes, you want to look her up. I bought her DVD because I took her class and I had an immediate girl crush on her. And then you guys know I just ordered this set, which I'm just so psyched about. Now, full disclosure, I did the, um, you guys might have seen the vlog I did yesterday, but I did the first DVD in this, in this series, this cross training one. And I absolutely love it, but I had this strange, I think it's just me, you guys. I think that I had been sick, hadn't worked out for a while, was on antibiotics, and long story short is I did the first workout Sunday night, woke up for my trip, and my wrists were killing me, um, my shoulders were hurting, and my knees were hurting. I think it was kind of a weird side effect of medicine and not having trained, and I kind of went into this and really, really pushed it, because I was only sore for a day. Um, I don't in any way mean to suggest, and I, the more that I say it, that it has anything to do with the workout. Because they were all moves I'd done before, but I think that this is an incredible program. And, I, you know, go to ultimateyogi.com. I think that's the website. I'm very excited to, to keep up with this. Now, the other thing I wanted to do, this is in the spirit of now for the rest of the year, amping up my workout, really uh, taking the intensity up on, on muscle conditioning and building, but also making sure I have variety. And one of the things that struck me, I don't know if I'd just seen, I'm friends with uh, Leah on Facebook, um, but something was like telling me, you know, I, I love how yoga balances out, I feel, in my head. I feel like what I do in, in hot yoga, in my yoga classes, it balances out, number one, you're you're quiet, you're getting in touch with your mind and everything, and, and it balances out the cardio and all the crazy jumping around and punching that I'm doing. And the cardio kind of balances out my weight training, which I've been away from with all this being sick. I mean, I've really been away from my weight training, so I'm going to be sore as hell when I start hitting it this week. But I'm excited about that. So I like kind of having, you know, this ebb and flow, these ba the balance of the yoga and then the cardio and running and, the, and my DVDs and then hardcore weight training. And I really wanted something else too that was, I don't know, I, I just feel like this is, all, it almost doesn't fit into any of those categories. Now you guys know I've done this Physique 57 DVD in the past. I'm an idiot because I think this is one of the best workouts out there. It is so much more intense than you think. This is hard, this is amazing, and I'm annoyed with myself that I have tended to not go back to it in the past. I'm gonna be using this a lot more, and in fact, maybe if I'm in New York this week, I should go visit them. I think it's excellent, and in fact, I should ask them, I think they have a new DVD out, but this is killer. Um, and then I just got all of Leah's ballet body workouts. Um, look them up, you can see previews of them. Very bar workout inspired core. Different, again, than everything else we're getting. Now, you guys know that for cardio, when I'm on the road and at home, if I'm not running, I love to run, and I tend to go three miles, usually. Three miles is kind of my thing. Um, I like to go about 30 to 45 minutes at the most. That's just the way I flow. But these are my two favorites. I am absolutely addicted to both of these. I have to say, I tend to go more so for this, but that's just because I haven't tried these other DVDs on here. I always do the 60 minute ones, so I've got to branch out and do more of these. Um, I just love Shaleen, I love the music. I certainly love this. I just, um, I think what I need to do is I've tried these and now I like mixing all of these up and I need to use these other workouts on here. Um, and then of course when I'm home, I mentioned this to you guys before, Ultimate Sandbag, I'm gonna start taking that with me. You wonder how I can take a sandbag with me? Well, crap, I'm really going too long on this DVD. This, uh, vlog today, sorry. Two 15 minute vlogs in a row. Starting tomorrow, we'll be back to under 10, I promise. Um, but Ultimate Sandbag, if you go to his website, I've got an Ultimate Sandbag for at home with like an oogie ball and I've got a really bunch of cool stuff for workouts at home, which is making me think about videos we need to shoot. But for the road, he now has an Ultimate Sandbag that you can take with you and fill up with water. Brilliant, because obviously I've wanted to take that on the road with me, but you can't go out and buy sand at Home Depot when you're on the road, so he's made it easy for me. Um, and then of course you guys know, <laughs> not only Kathy X-Train, I worship her, uh, which has about 700 workouts in it, 
but I have, if you look in my box here, I mean I have, these are all, these are all Kathy DVDs. As you can see, I am in love with her and she has the best workouts ever. So now I'm gonna have to rearrange this. If you haven't bought Kathy Friedrich DVDs, you are missing out. All of her stuff is the best. People go, what should I buy first? And I'm like, I honestly don't know what to tell you because every single one of her workouts, if you like step and you get her step workouts, you'll be in love. If you like kickboxing and you get her kickboxing, she doesn't have as much kickboxing. Um, if you like hardcore, and, and her weight training DVDs are advanced. They are not for like, pick up your dumbbells, like someone like Tracy Anderson or some lame crap like that. Um, so anyway, I'm gonna do a separate video about my books because I'm at 15 minutes and I gotta stop, but I'll see you guys tomorrow. I'm feeling better and I believe that all of that drama is behind me. What do you say about that? Where's my duty? Can't even find the red button.